Hey guys, Steve here at SKS Props, and today I'm going to show you how to do some basic Borderlands cell shading. Hey guys, welcome to the shop. I am, of course, accompanied by my buddy here, Bandit Steve. Now, this is a Borderlands costume that I built almost four years ago. I've taken it to a lot of different conventions like Dragon Con and C2E2, so it's seen some wear and tear. The paint has started to fade on it and it just really needs to be brought back to life. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you guys how I do Borderlands cell shading. We got a lot to do, so let's get started. After taking the jacket out of storage, the first thing I noticed is a lot of the blacks had faded over time. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is go in with the Sharpie and redo all of my cartoony lines that were in there. Now, if this is your very first time of doing this, what I would recommend to do would be use a pencil first, go in and kind of sketch out where you want these lines to go before you jump in with your permanent marker. To really get that borderland cell shaded look, one of the biggest things you can do is really overemphasize the types of wrinkles that are in the cloth. So let's say for instance right here, there's no actual wrinkle in the cloth here. By, by going in with your Sharpie and really defining that area, at this point, you can see where it starts to give it a cartoony kind of feel. Now, this is gonna be overemphasized when we go back with our acrylics and we do a highlight above and we do some shading down below. Also, I wanna point out that you wanna make sure to get some screen references to really show how Borderlands does a lot of their shading too. They've got, of course, some cross hashing that's in here, but also in areas they just have like random circles or organic shapes that help break up a lot of that static look that you're gonna get otherwise.
All right, well, you guys can see how I do cell shading on my Borderlands costumes, and hopefully you learned something from this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Be sure to swing back by again for more tips and tutorials. Until then, thanks for stopping by.